influence line is to find the maximum reaction force and moment at a specific point under a unit gravity force. In this problem, we will draw influence lines for the moment at point C, the vertical reaction at its point B, the shear force at the point C, and shear force at the point D by using muller bass law principle. First, we will draw the influence line of the moment at the point C. In order to obtain the influence lines of MC, we need to remove the moment resistance at point C. By removing the moment resistance at point C, the continuous beam AB changes to two separate segments, AC and CB. And AC and CB are connected by a hinge at C. Let AC and CB rotate in the positive direction of the moment. The rotation angle of the segment AC is theta 1, and the rotation angle of the segment CB is theta 2. The sum of theta 1 and theta 2 equals to 1. At hinge C, segment AC and segment CB have the same vertical displacement, and therefore we get theta 1 times 10 feet equals to theta 2 times 10 feet. Combine the two equations and we can solve for theta 1 equals to 1 half and theta 2 equals to 1 half. Then we can get the moment at x equal to 10 feet m equals to theta 1 times 10 feet equals to 1 half times 10 feet equals to 5 feet. The two segments keep straight so, for the segment CB, the moment at the beam right end equals to negative theta 2 times 10 feet equals to negative 5 feet. Note that the rotation angle has the unit of radian and the moment has the unit of feet on the moment influence line. Next we will draw the influence lines of the vertical reaction BY at the roller support B. In order to get the influence line of the reaction BY, we need to remove the roller support at B and let the beam AB move upward at the support B. The upward displacement at B is 1. According to the similar triangles, we can get the value at the beam right end is 1.5. Note that the re reaction on influence line has no unit. Next, we will draw the influence line of the shear force at point C. To get influence line of VC, we need to remove the shear resistance at C and break the beam into two segments AC and CB. The segment AC and CB are connected at the point C with a vertical slider. The beam segments move to the positive shear direction at the slider, and therefore segment AC move downward and segment CB move upward. The relative vertical displacement at the point C, distance of Y1 plus distance of Y2 equals to 1. The segment AC and CB keeps parallel after the moon, and all the triangles are similar triangles. According to the geometry, we can get Y1 equals to negative one half, Y2 equals to one half, and Y3 equals to negative one half. Last, we will draw the influence lines of the shear force at point D. To get influence lines of VD, we need to remove the shear resistance at D and break the beam into two segments, AD and DB. And segment AD and DB are connected at the point D with a vertical slider. The beam segments move to the positive shear direction at the slider, and therefore 
segment AD moves downward and segment DB moves upward. The relative vertical displacement at the point D, distance of Y1 plus the distance of Y2 equals to 1. The segment AD and DB keep parallel after the move, and all the triangles are similar triangles. According to the geometry, we can get y1 equals to negative 1 quarter, y2 equals to 3 quarters, and y3 equals to negative 1 half.